Now you're a killing machine! Let's go get them! your time help me out here get these brutes off my case and we can go inside good job kid It's her own fault. This roulette table's purely for looks. No gambling here. Child is predictable! Hi there, young one. I am from a faraway land. I've seen every corner of the earth. And now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Mafia are terrible at cooking. But fear not. Cooking Cad is here. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Welcome, young one. Please make a purchase at my humble stall. Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type. Not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. She look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. <laughs> Since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. 
You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness! Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style! Lights! Action! It is showtime! Anyway, are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Are they some sort of rare co Wait, uh huh? Wait, what? This time? 
doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not going to use it to fight evil? If you're not going to use them to fight evil, then I will. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. Movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on birdseed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just going to record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, you buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audience. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good dirty picnics. You've copied our props. I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it. Get out of here with ya. I've got a movie to record. Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. How well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> oh wait, uh, shut my picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. All right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. Oh, and uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. I really suck at interacting with other birds. 
Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all- I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. Yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster.
Magnificent, stunning. This trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? Oh no, it's just a little girl. Hello. Oh wait, you're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are frankly terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt, I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. Let's see how the picture turned out. <laughs> oh! Darling, you moved. The picture is ruined. How could you? We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Here. Take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. Perfect! Let's slide this picture into your passport and... Here you go, one passport for you. Wonderful, darling, oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star.
What do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual Bard Movie Awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Oh. Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh, all right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you're got to help me even the score. That's right. You're got to be the star of my movies too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. <laughs> Welcome back, lassie. Well, I haven't written the script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. But as you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? Oh, it is. <laughs> I see, I see. This is the kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow Express Owl. Hello, fellow Express Owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? I see, I see. <laughs> is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on at the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Did you also know that pets can have pets? 
It is true. Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? <laughs> is certainly an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. Have you noticed all these crows around the place? They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Do you see this advanced formula on the blackboard? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? <laughs> I see. The solution is... It was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. And thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Fellow Express Owl, do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? If entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. <laughs> That name is great! I can already imagine it. The mighty... Savior of Justice. I'll just write your answer down here real quick. Express owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow Express Owl? Ha <laughs> ha 
You shouldn't be ashamed of your... But you'd better get your... Checked out by a doctor. I read online. It could be a sign of bird flu. Wait! Don't come in here! I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please, don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. one of the express owls. And I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister. What do you have to see for yourself? Ooh, you're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? Leave this case to us. We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. We'll be searching the entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in my own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, we'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here while we investigate further. Those car picnics can't tell me what to do. I bet they committed the murder and are destroying all the evidence. I hope no one goes into the VIP area and accidentally steps on my contact lens. Gotcha! <laughs> 
don't know. Uh, we couldn't find any conclusive evidence. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you've done pickle to solve the case? Who's the murderer? Which one are you dead at? crime going on. Us car agents were gonna be out of work in weeks. You can't imagine how crammed it is for several dozen birds to live in a single one-room apartment. We needed some crime to solve in order to get paid. So we stabbed him with a rubber knife and left him for dead. What's a what? Rubber knife? Yeah, can I go now? I'm kind of sore from playing dead for so long. This rubber knife is also a bit uncomfortable. Thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer, you also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. What? You think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express movie. Murder on the Owl <laughs> you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? Ha! I think not. Here, take this thingamajig and get out of here. <laughs>